The purpose of this presentation is to help you get a better grasp of how to classify a malocclusion. That's the goal. Malocclusion classification. You'll be able to get a view of the malocclusion using the study models and that's how the case should be diagnosed. Do not try to diagnose a malocclusion from taking the pictures in the mouth because the angle, usually the best angle you're going to be able to get is something like this, which is not going to give you as accurate of a picture of the malocclusion as a 90 degree to the buccal surface of the teeth view will, and that is what you need, and you can routinely get that from study models. That's one of the main reasons we take study models. What you're looking at now is a class one molar. Class one by definition is the mesial buckle of the upper the, the mesial buckle cusp of the upper first permanent molar fits into the buccal groove of the lower first permanent molar. That's the definition of a class one molar relationship. Mesial buccal cusp tip of the upper first permanent molar fits in the buccal groove of the lower first permanent molar. I want to be able to wake you up at night and say classify or rather give me the definition of a class 1 molar. It needs to be that well in your head. Let's now look at the cuspid relationship. I've got dots on the first bicuspids to help you see that these are the cuspids that we're talking about, specifically the upper. By definition, a class 1 cuspid relationship is a relationship in which the cusp tip of the upper cuspid fits into the embrasure, the space, or the contact area more specifically, in between the lower cuspid here and the lower first bicuspid with the dot on it there. This case is a class 1 molar and a class 1 cuspid right side. Now, let's look at the other side. Believe it or not, this is one of the more difficult things you'll have to be able to do, is switch mentally from the right side to the left. Let's look at the molar relationship. Mesial buccal cusp, upper first permanent molar, fits into what? The buccal groove of the lower first permanent molar. By definition, that's a class one molar relationship. Let's look at the cuspid. By definition, a class one cuspid has the cusp tip of the upper cuspid fitting into the buccal embrasure between the lower cuspid and the lower first bicuspid. Again, visually, right side, class 1 molar. Again, visually, class 1 cuspid, right side, of course. Again, visually, left side, class 1 molar. Again, visually, class 1 cuspid. This is important. 